contemporary organizational structures of emergency services are highly contextual, reflecting the historical, legal, and political evolution of the societies in which they are embedded. More specifically, as in the case of the UK, for example, each service evolved alongside wider institutions. A society came to consider that these services be provided to all, regardless of ability to pay. They became publicly provided in many cities and countries. There are nevertheless many examples of privatized emergency services, especially in the case of ambulance services. While most localities in the UK and abroad have emergency services that are publicly provided, they exist among complex assemblages of public-private partnerships. There are other notable differences between the structure of each respective emergency service organization across countries, which often influence the ways that they work together at the national, regional, and local levels. Some countries maintain multiple municipal police, fire, and ambulance services, with slightly different arrangements for less urbanized areas. Other countries have regional departments, with a different police, fire, and ambulance service for every region, state, or territory, like Australia and Ger Germany, for example. As many police, fire, and ambulance services developed locally for the purposes of serving particular cities and towns, it is still common for countries to have many separate departments for each respective locality at either the regional or municipal level. As cities have grown and merged, a trend has been to consolidate various local departments into a single national organization. The police in the Netherlands, for example, was reorganized into one single national po police force in January 2013. The new National Police of the Netherlands, under the Ministry of Security and Justice, is made up of 10 regional units, a central unit for specialist police activities, and a police service center for all business operations. Scotland similarly merged all eight territorial police forces in 2013, along with its eight regional fire services, resulting in the Police Service of Scotland and the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. Also common is a combination of nested municipal, regional, and national services operating in a complex, multi-level governance system. Furthermore, unlike in the UK and many cities and regions around the world, some localities have one organization devoted to the public provision of both fire and rescue services as well as emergency medical and ambulance care. In many cases, the consolidation of these two services under one organization has happened in the last few decades. In Singapore, for example, the Singapore Fire Service and the Singapore Civil Defense Force were formally integrated in 1989 due to the similarities in roles and functions. The Singapore Civil Defense Force, under the purview of the Ministry of Home Affairs, now provides firefighting, rescue, and emergency ambulance services, mitigates hazardous material incidents, as well as formulates, implements, and enforces regulations on fire safety and civil defense shelter matters. Similarly, the New York City Emergency Medical Service merged with the New York City Fire Department to become the New York City Fire Department Bureau of Emergency Medical Services in 1996. This organizational structure is not uncommon. In fact, it is arguably becoming the norm. An uncommon organizational development, particular to the American context, has been the establishment of fully consolidated emergency service departments, whereby policing, firefighting, and emergency medical services are provided by fully cross-trained officers operating under a single organizational structure, typically called a public safety department. Hainoan and Wilson highlight the history of consolidated police and fire departments, with the first created in 1911 in Gross Point Shores, Michigan. Consolidated departments in Oakwood, Ohio, Butner, North Carolina, Oak Park, Michigan, Beverly Hills, Michigan, and Sunnyvale, California, are among those that are more than half a century old. 140 cons consolidated departments of varying forms have been identified in 27 states in the United States, with approximately half operating in the state of Michigan. 
Overall, three basic organizational models of municipal emergency service provision can be distinguished. Model A, the tri-service model, entails the complete organizational separation of the three services. Model B, the bi-service model, entails two organizations, a police department and a department responsible for fire rescue and emergency medical care. Finally, Model C, the consolidated model, refers to the complete consolidation of all three services under the one organizational structure, typically in the form of a public safety department. This model is the rarest, and examples of such systems are overwhelmingly located in the United States.